So I grew up in a Christian household. Uh, so I feel like I've got introduced to Jesus very early on. So I feel like I've always accepted Jesus. I've never rejected him. But this wasn't actually the case. There was a point in my life where uh, I feel like I was a failure. So uh, this was a period where uh, just before I went to university, uh, I did my international baccalaureate, an equivalent to A-levels. At the time, I, I failed it. So it was a period of unease in my life. Uh, I remember a lot of people were expecting me to do well in that, uh, in, that, in that area and expecting me to go into university and to, to, you know, to go on and be, to be this, this amazing person that I was expected to be. Um, but uh, in reality, I failed. Even though that was the case, I got an offer, unconditional offer, and it was at a university uh, that I've never thought of. Um, at the time, this was God setting me in a path, but at the time I didn't realize that. Um, and so I felt, after the failure, I felt like I'm a massive failure and I didn't deserve to be where I was. And so this, this resulted in a lot of emotions, um, uh, a lot of mixed feelings, uh, feelings of just accepting it, but feelings of rejecting it at the same time. So feelings of shame and anger, um, mainly pointed at myself. And so at the time, I was very anxious actually. I was, yeah, anxiety kicked in uh, when I started my course. Uh, but then this, this anxiety got a hold of me and I felt like I needed to blame something. Now, how, how did I get here? How, like, why did I get here? Why, why am I so anxious about everything? Why am I so, um, so mixed in terms of my emotions? Um, and so I blamed it on, on God saying, God, why, why did you do this to me? Why, why am I feeling all these emotions? And at that time, I was, I was so angry at God. Um, I was so mad at Him. And why, why, why are you, you making me feel these things? At the time, I decided to, to actually reject God. Uh, and so I wanted to find peace somewhere else. Um, and so I went with my, with my friends at the time and I went drinking at least twice every day. Um, you know, I went partying, I, went, I was a little bit on the wild side at the time. Um, even, you know, even got peer pressured into smoking at the time. So, you know, I was, I was this, this insecure person. Then as the course goes on, my, my, my anxiety goes, gets worse and worse. I've left God totally out of my life. Then I went on to, to do my uh, master's course after this, uh, which is in Liverpool. And this was actually a time where, um, where I managed to encounter God again, re-encounter God again. I, I, I remember seeing this guy with this uh, massive pointy hand placer and it's, on it says, church this way. And I remember at the time walking past him and I was like, wow, he looks ridiculous. Yeah, he looks, you know, like he, I wasn't expecting him to be standing there with that sign. Um, but little do I know, the next week he would come and do it again uh, and again. And so eventually I got curious and, um, you know, I decided to, to get this God thing going again. Because at the time I didn't feel like what the world has to offer me was enough. I was always looking for more and more and more and more. And, you know, in a way, I was more insecure. I was more anxious about what about everything else, about my feelings. When I walked into into that place, it was a feel a feeling of ease on me, and I felt like I walked into a room where I can just lay everything down and where I can come again into the presence of the Holy Spirit. I remember the preach was somewhere along the lines of uh, bringing all all we have to Jesus. And at the time, I remember um, there was an altar car and I decided to actually, you know, put my hands up and go forward. I felt so much peace. I felt so much ease and that my anxiety is just, just somehow just left me. You know, I feel, I feel this, this sense of Holy Spirit on me and I feel like um, that's, that's, that's causing this, this peace inside me and it's, it's making me feel, feel at peace. This is this is not this is not of this world. This is not this is not something that I can achieve from just going out drinking. I can achieve from just going into a party and you know smoking different things. It's not it's not something that I could achieve in 
in that sense. And so it must be, it must be God. It must be God working in me. I felt so peaceful to the point that, you know, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going back into this, this Christianity, this, this God thing. He's got me. Um, because I feel like whenever I come into His presence, I get reminded of the fact that Jesus has done it for me. Jesus has died on the cross. Jesus has taken my pain away and I can lay it all down at, at His feet. And I, I got reminded that uh, it's, it's for everyone, it's for me and it's for you as well.